Media has come a long way in Kenya. There are days from the VOK and KBC days and uh, the bulletin, the news bulletin at KBC, if you remember, used to begin with the venerable president, Daniel Arab Moy. And for a full, what, 30 seconds, the old man was just there, staring at you as they say where he was in church. And that's how this country was. We have grown exponentially over that time in terms of ex ex professionalism, in terms of experience, in terms of exposure, in terms of the quality of the content we put out both in print and electronic media. I, I think the media now is at its lowest low ever. Um, I, I can't think of any other institution that, aside from government, that exhibits such blatant laziness intellectually. The, the fourth estate has a certain duty and I think it's completely lost on them what they ought to be doing. Um, if you look at KTN News for instance, they have this little speech that they have opening the news. Uh, welcome to your unbiased and this and this and this source of news, KTN. Why are you talking about being unbiased and making that a big deal? That's a given. I don't know when it became a pointer, like, like I'm better than the next station because I'm unbiased. That's nonsense. If the media are in bed in the darkness, the politicians, politicians owning part or wholly, uh, wholly owning media houses, okay? That's now what is in the darkness. That's the part we don't see. And then out here, they pretend to be against the said politicians, but they don't give us news of anything else but those politicians. What did we say the media are for? What are the three things they are meant to do? Inform, educate, entertain. What does our media do? Entertain, all the time. Uh, responsibility? What is responsibility? All, all freedoms come, come with the responsibilities and in terms of even though the space for media freedom has opened exponentially in Kenya, it's, uh, I think we still have responsibilities and increasingly we're beginning to see media acting on its agenda setting role more seriously. There are stations that will say, we're not going to air that stuff. Uh, I'm glad, for example, my employer at NTV would not begin our bulletins with, with political stories and it is a conscious decision we made that there's obviously new, new information coming from these people. There's always bickering, there's always accusations and counter-accusations. There is never any positive vibe coming from this. And Kenyans really are tired of it. Uh, it's not just NTV, and, and I need to note this. For example, KISS, Kiss FM, they do make some very bold statements regarding the political class and what needs and needs not to be done. Um, I, 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 at risk of being you know, um, misinterpreted as <laughs> making a blanket statement about all the media, um, I, I think that there's lots of people out there that are trying to do it right. If you listen to KISS 100, I remember tuning in to KISS one morning and this was on the morning that MPs had decided to hike their salaries again. And I was ready to whinge and just go crazy and complain and, and I tuned in to, 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 to the radio wanting to, you know, my, to, for my blood to boil even more. And Caroline decided not to talk about anything about what was happening in Parliament at that point. And instead focus on all the positive things that are happening. And from that point on, they've had uh, continued inviting people into studio to talk about the good things that are happening in Kenya. And I was flabbergasted. I, I had never seen things from that point of view. Every politician is always performing for the stage. The picture in the paper small 15 second clip in the TV news bulletin in the, in the evening, they will do anything for that if it's not something that's building the country. If media consciously begins to ignore that sort of content and fo focuses on other important stories, I think it will lead society in a bigger way than any other institution outside of the media.